Zero times any number equals zero. That might seem obvious, but we can actually prove it. And let's do it. So let's begin with stating a times zero, right? Where a is any number, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the additive identity, right? Where a number plus zero equals that same number. So then we can say this is the same thing as a times zero plus zero. Okay, we use the additive identity, we added zero onto zero, so, so it should still be zero, right? Then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to use the distributive property, okay? So we end up with a times zero, right? Plus a times zero, all right? I'll put the zeros in parentheses actually. So let's recap what we have. We have a times zero equals a times zero plus a times zero, okay? Then what we're going to you do is use the additive inverse, where a plus some negative a equals zero, okay? So what we're going to do is we're gonna add the additive, additive inverse or the negative version of this to both sides. So we get a times zero, plus negative a times zero equals, then this is a, sorry, a times zero plus a times zero plus negative a times zero. I didn't add a negative, whoop. Sorry about that, negative a times zero, just like that. Then from here, we're still going to use the additive inverse, and we have over here, we have the additive inverse. A plus negative A, in this case, right? Or A times zero plus negative A times zero. That'll cancel out, and that'll just become zero. Then, over here, we have A times zero plus A times zero plus negative A times zero. We can use the additive inverse on these two right here. These will cancel out, right? And we get zero equals A times zero. And this completes our proof. Thank you for watching. Let me know if I say anything wrong or if you have anything additional to add. Have a great day.